Welcome, FLH. You can't start laughing up front. Huh? <laughs> Seriously, they could have done a sitcom on your arrival. I've had half an hour of chaos. Specialising chaos. This week, again, is a gracious gift from Bill DeLisi. Fantastic. It's 95, fantastic. March 95, Partagas Lusitanias. He lo actually lost that on the way here. He had to ring D to find out what it was because he lost the uh, form. And the special wine that came with it, apparently that got squirrelled away. Beautiful. Squirrelled away. It didn't quite make it here. He brought his it own. It wasn't enough for two people. He brought his own. <laughs> it was only a bottle. <laughs> it was. And he brought his own Lipton's cold tea. Oh, <clears> I'm, on, I'm on a dry spell before I head off to Havana. So what's that? It's alcohol. But you poured that. Well, I didn't pour two for me. Okay, we'll try that in a second. Yeah, that's uh, the dry spill over. <laughs> anyway, gorgeous Lucy and yeah. they do look gorgeous. They do, absolutely. Lovely box press to them. Box press, yes. My drawers, actually. My, mine's firm, but yeah. it's a little firmer than yours because we had a look before. Um, but it's um, it should be fine. I'm wondering why we're sitting around looking at. Can I ask you a question? Do you think this will be before we start? Yes. Light, medium, medium, full. When did the Lucy's kick kick well kick down a notch? Um, earlier than this, well, it was it was earlier than this. They they became a little a little milder. I thought it was right around this time. I, I would have thought late eighties from memory, but yeah. um, late eighties, early nineties. So I would be thinking this shouldn't be huge, but uh, I'm looking forward to it. So am I. Mm. Hey, we've had some cracker H cigars lately. Hey, we've got his bobness in the background. Um, Bob in honour of his uh, um, most deserved Nobel. The skin's got up this morning. <laughs> Doesn't really. get any better, does it? He, arri he arrives, he tells me I'll be here at 1, so I sit down for lunch at 12.30. At 12.31 he walks in the door, that's the end of lunch. Um, that's the only um, <sighs> blight on the day. You wonder why he lives by himself. Alright, we'll be back. <laughs> I don't. Let's, let's let us fire it up and we'll be back to you shortly. First third, Kenny, of this glorious Lucy. Are you preempting? Oh. 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 Oh, but it is glorious. It is absolutely beautiful. Um, it's not too too intense or overpowering at all. It's to me this is straight up mid body. Yeah. At Medium most, body. At most. Yeah. Super smooth. Yep. Yep. The glorious, clearly defined flavours. Yeah, that sort of rich old tobacco, um, leather and nuts. And the sweetness there. I'm is not getting too much sweetness. Sweet, I'm getting the underlying sweetness of this. Yeah, I'm not getting that, but I'm just... It's really complex, but subtle and smooth. Beautiful cigar. This is, this is a beautiful cigar. Yeah, that roasted nut. Yeah, nuts. Nuts, yeah, 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 nuts, yeah, nuts, nuts character in there. A bit of leather and, and that sort of old um, tobacco character. So 20 odd years. Mm. 21 years old. And... It can't get better than this, can yeah. it? I mean, really? It's there. I'm not sure. You'd I'm smoke sure through it, wouldn't you? Then again, really, it doesn't doesn't show any signs of. It's not going to fall away, over. You think? Falling away, no. Um, but yeah. This is not yeah. bad. We can do this on a Monday afternoon. And you didn't want to do this one. Well, the other one's a cracker too. Yeah. Oh no, I don't think that one will be any. Yeah. Yeah. No. I just said let's have give it, give it a run. There we have. Mm. Back to the end of the second third. Uh, now, I want to ask you a question. You've had the Partagas Grand Reserva. Mm -hmm. And if I recall, it was pretty good. Yep, I think you gave it a 96, 97. Mm -hmm. This has got the advantage of 20 years. Well, the Partagas Grand Reserva has the advantage of a shitload more of price. <laughs> <coughs> a specialist tobacco, and and really, Partagas Grand Reserve is a very very good cigar. But Absolutely. this 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 is perfection. This is pretty Lucy. close. It's pretty close. Pretty yeah. close to perfection, Lucy. Yeah. It's sitting in a ninety nine for me at the moment. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you. And yeah. why wouldn't we give it a hundred? 
Well, that's the thing. Because it, it wouldn't pour me a drink by itself. I've got no idea what else you could ask from a cigar than this. A second one. There's depth, there's richness, if you'd it's lush, there's If you'd given me a second one, I would have said a hundred. It's, yeah. it's, um, the burn's perfect as you'd expect. Mm. The complexity of the cigar's good. I mean, no, no retouching or anything? It's just. There's not one harsh edge. There's nothing oh, no. there. No. Lovely. Absolutely exquisite cigar. Yeah, we're talking about it. 99 so far. I'm going to, I'm going to leave that one point open for it. So, Dingles, we've got a cigar we're now coming towards the end of, and it has got a little bit, a little bit metallic towards the end. Mine has. I didn't get the sweetness, and I didn't get the metallic. Yeah. I'm putting it down to 97. Brutal, aren't I? You wear that shirt because when you spill ash on it, no one can tell. Absolutely. No, but this is one of the great cigars of the year. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. One of the great cigars About of the time. year. About time you brought something decent. Are you going to stick 99 on that? I am at the moment. When you got the per How's your draw? Perfect there? It's been perfect the whole time. Perfect draw, perfect wrapper, perfect balance, great complexity, takes you on a journey. It's just what you, you, you got me thinking because that box of last time I was in Cuba um, with our good friend Jose, we went searching. Um, uh, when I bought the monsters out there, we went searching for a box of uh, Lucy's, and I opened a heap of them. And every single box you just put straight back on the shelf. Either side, and I finally found one box which looked spectacular, yeah. and that was the hundred point Lucy I had earlier in the year. Yeah. So I'm now trying to think, well. Did it deserve a hundred if this only deserves ninety nine? You know, it comes back. To, it comes back to the utility it's delivering to you on the day. Yeah, I'll, I'll yeah. go hundred. I'm going up to hundred because it's as good as that one I had then. 97, 98. But really, we just it really. Okay, you can put this up on Christmas Day and call him Scrooge. Okay. What a brilliant cigar, and thanks, Bill, for that. That's just um, way too generous. It is. It is far more uh, generous than him. Nineteen ninety five. Partagas Lusitania. It doesn't get me better. Well, you've given it 97, so apparently it does. It doesn't get me better, really. I am screwed. Until next week. I still work it. This is a 95 vintage. Does that make it older or younger than your shirt? Huh? It's, this is real op shop territory, mate. Right? Oh. And, and kudos for rocking that style in the hope it'll come back in fashion. <laughs> but I wouldn't hold your breath. People ask me about this shirt all the time. Yes. It's got flamingos on it. Yes, it has got flamingos everywhere. I love flamingos. There are more, more flamingos there than... Uh... <laughs> oh, God. I try not to wear that to Dylan. That's uh, to Springsteen. Now that Ken's commenting on, on fashion... Um, well, I don't make any pretense, though. What, you hang around with the Kardashians of wine and things like that? It's... Kardashians of wine? Isn't that what the wine maker was? C-A-R-D-O-N-A -A, distillery. Back so they don't make wine. Back sure. Got off. I would have been one of those tosser tourist fishermen who didn't listen to his guide. Uh, you, are, you are a tosser tourist fisherman. I most certainly am not. We are back here on the deck talking, <laughs> talking about fly fishing in Las Salinas, bonefish. And Just Barry, and Barry, Barry if, anyone hasn't seen, if anyone hasn't seen a photo of Barry, I'm happy to load another one. Barry the Barracuda, he will happy to put it up on the forum. Uh, huge. On a little egg weight. On a, it was freaking 25 what? pound. 25 pound Barracuda. Do you, yeah. do you weigh it? You, you get to know these things. Tell me Barracuda if you caught. One. <laughs> Barry. One very big one. Right, right. When this is posted, I'm loading Barry. You load on the day, right? People need to see. Yeah. 25 pound Barracuda. My problem is I get guides who are honest. <sighs> Can we stop it? Seriously. Stop it. Stop it. I fished with you before. Um, oh, and I had to nurse made you. Through. Except for your freaking. What's his. Uh, who was that little tosser in Chile that thought you were the ant's pants? Yes, Rob. Yes, Rob. You, you fish here. There are fish here. You fish elsewhere. Uh, <laughs> he sends me to a swamp 
was Nico. Like, that was Nico. He was a. I like, he sends good. me to a swamp because Rob must have the good spot again. I get sent to a swamp and I catch a salmon. Quickly, Rob. It quickly. went there to die. It did it go. Did granted, it went there to die, but I still caught it. You jagged it. I didn't jag it. It jagged. It was dead. It wasn't it was dead. It, was, oh, it wasn't say. dead, but I still caught it. It's a salmon the bear rejected. And, and what, did, um, what, did, what did your tosser guide do? Quickly, Rob, quickly. There are often two. You fish elsewhere. Two dead salmon. <laughs> hey, it, was, it might have been. If fish, if fish had priests, it was being read the last rites, but it was still hanging in. Uh, I think I, I was actually lifting to, to cast again, and I think the fly just went past and it snapped at it as, as I went past. Um, I just got one left it in me. Didn't put up much of a fight. It was not a bad little salmon. Um, the creek was only a foot wide. It wasn't, it, wasn't a f it wasn't a creek, it was a swamp. All right, it was let's get. A fetid, stinking swamp that you're You know what I always love about those trips? The cigars we smoke and the laughs we have, and that's what fishing's about, <laughs> isn't it? No, no it's it catching fish. And the cigars. And in the, the, yeah. Exactly right. It's what we remember. It's, what we, I mean, it's a beautiful thing. I Here had we, a Lonsdale up at Fraser. My giddy aunt was glorious. It Monsdale. was as good as this. Yeah, Matt Lonsdale's a superb oh, cigar. Oh, God, it was good. It was just tingling. You give me this drink. I've given you a drink. I'm not drinking, but I'll taste it. You have been drinking. But, yeah, the ice has melted into it. But uh, Lemon, gin? Neither of those are present. No gin in that? No gin. So vodka? No vodka. You got lost me. It's a thing called Rose Rabbit, made by the Kadana, Kadona um, distillery down in central Otago. And it's uh, orange liqueur mixed with uh, young uh, malt whiskey. Really? Yeah. I'm going to grab the bottle. I'm going to grab the bottle. I'll take a photo of that bottle and put it up. Well, that's quite refreshing. It is, it is. I mean, we've let the ice melt. Which... Rose Rabbit. Yep. Is that from Rabbit Ranch? No, I don't think so. Uh, it's a separate thing. But yeah. it's down, and they, no, that's, um, I think that's part of the, um, oh, what are the guys? You'll come to me later. Uh, who are right where the Rabbit Ranch comes from. If you watch Lord of the Rings, if anyone watches Lord of the Rings, the winery sits where the two towers that they go down the river through uh, at the end of the first episode, um, those two giant towers, that's where the, um, uh, the so winery So get back is. on your... Seriously, go back for the nine hours and see if you can find this winery. Was the grape still there in the, in the film? No, they managed to angle the cameras, presumably, so they didn't get that or the bungee. Uh, um, that's really interesting. That's, yeah. um, and that's just straight, yeah? yeah? No, it's just straight with some ice. How much does that cost? I think it's 60, 60 or 70 or something. Well, but I could be wrong. It's from New Zealand. I don't know how much gets in here. But it's a yeah, small batch. Mate. New Zealanders get in here all the time. Oh, They're everywhere. No, seriously. The Nick Krigios of nations. All our New Zealand customers, we love you dearly. Press the I do. Well, I had to spend last week putting out, <coughs> putting out a few fires. Uh, I'd send a, a mate. Sent He's me a moderator a... again. <laughs> Not on yours. On on uh, yeah. on the apparently uh, one one of my mates sent me this article, and it was basically bitching about Australia. Um, uh, New Zealand that. Herald or something or other, endless whinging about Australia, and because uh, apparently we'd said something nasty about one of the All Blacks, someone had, and they assumed that it would be national news over here, whereas in fact no one could give a toss. No. Um, but uh, it was front page in New Zealand. I'm still surprised New Zealand's not part of Australia. But anyway, have you met any? What's that? Who, who are over there? No, you, <laughs> you met any Kiwis? Really? Had enough. We got New South Wales. Now...